going to ask you, when you first met him and he did the body painting, what, what about him made you think that I have to follow this guy that's being written in my life? Well, after, after talking with him, uh, we both were born on the, the Mrs. off, the, off the, uh, the Illinois side of Mississippi, um, in Quad Cities, he's from Fulton. Yeah. And, um, Good area. Not quite Port Byron, but it's good. I'm from the player. So that was like our that was like our first like oh you're from that area you're from the you know, Rivers area okay and then we started hanging out and we, as we would film we would start you know some years and uh, I thought it was called Lemonade yeah. uh, and we know I also discovered that we both were kind of came from a punk rock youth um, and watching what he was doing and realizing that this guy, you can go anywhere and see one of his pieces and say, that's a great guy. There's no, you know, all the same point, I can pick pieces out of his work, and most people can do the same, you know, over anyone else, and it's like, oh, I, I recognize this piece. The stencils, the graffiti, the chaos with it, you can recognize it. Eat it. You can find his stickers all over downtown. And you can say, oh, that's a friend's bit. And even today, he just got like a thousand more stickers, and as we're like going from interview to interview today, I like turn around, and he's like trying to jump on a light pole or something, trying to get a sticker up there, you know, all over. Uh, and the fact that he's toured already with his art, been in so many different galleries, and has been invited to you know, some of the major art festivals, like Arlino, uh, which I'm not a big, I'm not a big today art scene, so I don't know all, but but the fact that he's been all over. And he also sets up a lot of local events here, too. You know, this guy has helped shape the whole scene. Why Why not? Why not do that? He's our Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So people who know his work from around town, what will they learn by watching the documentary? Things that might, be, they might, things that might surprise them about him. The, well, um, we go through, like, the high points of what he does, uh, then we go into like the real shitty parts of being an artist. And, you know, we're lucky to be in Des Moines, but especially being in the Midwest, there's a lot of these, there's a lot of the smaller towns that it's very hard to stay positive as a real person. I mean, that's where we had our first break and train is everyone left. No one wants to be here. We're lucky to have Des Moines now. We're here. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> I came back. Thank you. I'm never leaving. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> but, you know, when Republicans are in office, the best music comes out is everyone's pissed off again. So, People get jobs. That's always good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that happens. But seeing what he's doing and learning that he, is, there's times that life isn't good. And there's parts where you're thinking, why the fuck am I doing this? Right. You know, why have I gone down this path? And it comes, it, it's, 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 as a learning experience in itself, I mean, I thought everyone needed to see this. Yeah, did you get caught in any of those moments, Brent? Brent, can you say that again? Did you get caught in any of those moments that he's talking about? Are you stoned now? He's, he's either in one of those, little, this is probably a low moment and a stoned moment that we're capturing now. I'm sorry, no, the cameras are on. Just be a nice addition, maybe to roll during the credits. A clip of this. But, uh, it also shows what you need to do to actually make your work stand out. Right. Because you can't just promote yourself. You have to promote everyone around you. So right. Promote everyone around you, you always should. But you have to have their shoulders to step up on and kind of, you know what I mean? You have to have the shitty artist around you to make your shit look good, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what we do for the Hot Max Express every night. We <laughs> set the bar really low, and then we just knock it out of the park. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta support everyone else around you. You can't just, it can't, just can't be about you. Right. Really? Ego has to be let down in order to uh, succeed. That's well, before, before we show uh, the trailer of the movie, um, <laughs> which looks like Bill Maher and Zach Galifianakis, um, <laughs> Brent has been, uh, one of his stickers has made it into a uh, very prestigious sticker book. Um, and he's sandwiched betwixt the likes of Banksy and uh, 
Who else? The Ramones. The Ramones. So let's, the Misfits. Let's see. Elvis Costello. And what's the name of the, the book? Uh, it's called Stickers from Punk Rock to Contemporary Art. Yeah, that's me. Let's see it. Yep. That is one of his stickers. <laughs> it really is. And what, what's the title of that sticker? Uh, the piece is called Everything is Anything. The piece is, what is it? Everything is Anything. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So do you get any, uh, any scratch for getting it in there or not? I, there's not even any credit. Like, this was a sticker that was peeled off of like a lamppost or some shit. No, that's good. That's all right. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so there, there's an email address. Like, hey, so they like said in the back of the book, like, hey, we couldn't give everyone credit. Like, they found them wherever. If one of your stickers is in here, please email us. Is that legal? And we'll get you uh, recognition in the next uh, in the next uh, edition. Aww. So that's sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and so when is this, when are you guys premiering this? You guys are going to be here, correct? Uh, yeah, the premiere of the film uh, is November 6th, this Saturday. 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. It's um, going to go into 5 a.m. the next morning? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. long documentary, but I'm sure it's, it's yeah, like roots. The film is actually uh, six hours. It's good. Most of it is just me, like, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even there for most of it. <laughs> You discovered that you have a sleep apnea, which is good that we caught that. Because um, those sleep clinics are really expensive, but uh, maybe if we elevate the, if we elevate your entire bed and not just with a pillow, if we can elevate because gravity plays a part. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Let's watch the trailer. How about? Let's watch the trailer. What's up? My name is Frederick. Are you new? Rose. Is Rose on the computer tonight? Love the scarf, so, Rose. My name is Brendan. Who's in gay? Right? How's in gay? How's in gay? I say how's in gay. I say how's in gay. I'll just say it my friend. I'll start. Art is my lover. Music is my mistress. And I'm really excited about my hair. <laughs> I did have a strong feeling that Brent was going to be someone to watch at his side. Everything developed in his career. That's Kenny. Everyone kept asking me when I was in school, like, oh, what are you going to do with that? It's not just a big war to be cut, it's not just music that he does, it's a few rights as well, he does all these things in my wasn't really sure what I was doing when I started this. Some delicious hors d'oeuvres for you people. Uh, he is. And uh, we're going to show the film and we're going to do a QA afterwards. Very cool. Uh, and then we're going to dance our asses off to John Solar's DJ. Yeah, That we're going to celebrate. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then what are you guys going to do with the film after this? Uh, we're planning on taking it on tour. Cool. Uh, we're trying to hit up uh, colleges and art galleries and art centers uh, across the nation. Awesome. 
Well, I wish you guys both the best of luck with all your film stuff going on and future stuff with Francis Tiki. Yeah, congratulations. Thank Good you. luck with the fiction. Congratulations on the, the documentary. It looks great. And continued success with the art and the music and stuff. I own a piece of Brent's art, and it's awesome, even though my son broke it the other day. Some of it. He broke a piece off of it, cut himself. It's not important. Uh, Brent can't be held liable, I don't think, unless there is another attorney here besides immigration attorney, and maybe we could talk afterwards. Uh, but yeah, his stuff is great and completely, and like you said, when you see it, you know it's Brent's art, so... It's awesome. So congratulations, guys. Thank you guys for being on the show. Good luck Thank to you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for being here. Please uh, tip Princess Nakisha a lot of money tonight. Thank you to...